Good afternoon, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine talking about uh, uh, alphabetic list of problems, uh, still on letter D. Today I'm not going to talk about any problems, just the general concept of directed care. What is the directed care, which, is, uh, which means under the direction from the physician for the diseases and also for the well-being? So in, uh, in order to maintain a, a daily function, uh, a quality of life. Um, first, let's start about the quality of life. What kind of definition? What is the quality of life? This is uh, I don't think there's any standard of this uh, quality of life. To some people, uh, living in some uh, social economic status very low. Uh, so this is a uh, or uh, some people just come here from other country, the quality of life probably is lower compared to those uh, prestigious group, the quality of life. So basically, I think the fundamental concept of quality of life is the well-being, uh, physiologically uh, well-being and psychologically well-being. So this is a two of this uh, stratified layers um, to make up a, a quality of life. For example, a lot of people are living in a very high social economic status. However, they're mentally uh, impaired. Their their thought, the personality, uh, there's some problems. And on the other hand, a lot of people are living in the low or social economic status. They tend to develop depression in terms of they're easy to be satisfied. However, they still are likely to develop um, depression, anxiety. So both of these uh, stratified layers of quality of life determines the um, how to find a, a right, right path of directed care. Uh, so seeking the physician otherwise and under physician's guidance to find the right place to care you care for the diseases and also for the well-being. This is the, the concept of uh, directed care. So first of all, what kind of uh, directed care we're talking about is um, in general, uh, for example, you just had a, a problem, symptom, either psychological or physiological problem. For example, you feel fatigue. How to address this fatigue? Because there's so many causes can cause this fatigue, physiological or really organic disease from simple like uh, uh, just feel or uh, did not uh, sleep well or dehydration those are simple easy corrected problem can cause fatigue or long term of uh, or lack of sleeping or under stress or the fatigue can be really uh, organic disease like from anemia or the internal organ problem or anesthesia or cancer or any uh, metabolic endocrine or cardiac, a lot of variety of symptoms can cause this fatigue symptom. How to address this? Where to start? So first of all, as a patient, really pay attention to yourself. If you feel fatigue, not just the one day event, not just the one week or couple of days because of special causes, like you over uh, exhausted yourself running, uh, extra miles or doing extra works or um, uh, in the party for uh, overnight so exclude those causes uh, and then you still feel uh, tired of fatigue it's ongoing for a while a month couple months then um, go see your physician your physician probably through the communication with your physician your physician first of all can identify whether it is psychological or whether there is some possible uh, physiological organic disease. Um, during this visit, your physician will guide you, guide you where is the next step. If, if for example, the organic disease is suspected, then draw your blood, test whether there is some anemia or any uh, endocrine uh, disturbance or any cardiac problem or any other organ problems. And then if none of them exist, then probably direct another way for psychological cause, either you're under stress or you're something subtle you did not realize, um, for example, newly uh, event, um, you thought probably is not 
uh, that significant, but subtly affect your energy level. So that's the problem uh, for this simple uh, fatigue, very common from uh, nothing or just the catch up sleeps or drink some water or uh, to the serious problem, either endocrine or multiple or the organs or a psychological or anemia, for example, etc. So this is about the uh, very straightforward example for what is the directed care. On the other hand, if you think, oh, I have the fatigue, oh, I don't need to seek uh, medical advice, I don't need to see my physician, my primary care physician, I just manage at home. If you can, of course, if no emergency, you do not have the abnormal thought, you still can function at daily level and then you can try something like drinking fluid, taking some pain medication from over the counter, or and then give some, you, you can try this to see whether after you improve sleep, whether it's getting better, or after you use some anti-inflammation, uh, inflammatory medication, whether uh, those fatigue from the chronic uncomfortable inflammation will go away. You can try it, but if, if not, after you try it at home using the over-counter medication, your condition did not improve, still feel lack of energy or even sluggish and not feeling um, like to do things. So this, this is the time, it is time now to really talk to your physician. Like I said, very probably some of the disease in a subtle way affect your life. For example, the hypothyroidism is very common in female, especially middle age of female, uh, gain weight, uh, loss of energy, uh, easy to feel cold and to feel fatigue. So these are, none of them are really serious. None of them can really uh, alert you like a car, like a heart uh, attack. Go see the physician or high blood pressure, go see. No, these are the subtle symptoms, but really it's a, in long run impact to your function. Um, you just feel uh, not, uh, uh, not active, no enough energy, feel fatigue all the time, and also couldn't find something to can cheer up and feel cold, cold, especially in the winter in the north zone. So these are, like I said, so this is the, the, the really important symptom uh, to, to talk to the physician for the directed care. A physician will talk to you and test and find out whether you have organic uh, disease. Hypothyroidism is very easy and easy to treat, easy to diagnose and improve your life quality of life, you will feel better with the medication to help you or to help the uh, endocrine met uh, um, metabolic problem, very straightforward. And the other very uh, straightforward, like the directed care, losing weight. This is so, everybody desires to lose weight. Some people can do it through the lifestyle modification, exercise, uh, and uh, um, limited the food in, intake or uh, uh, so through doing this effort endeavors to uh, to change the lifestyle to reach the goal of losing weight so that is good but some more people really need directed care need, need to have the help under the physician uh, guidance to step by step uh, you know stop start from um, a food intake, exercise plans, or even with the medication uh, help, with the help for medication, either there's some medication from over the counter or there's some medication uh, more effective uh, for, from the prescription. So this, um, these are very common, very simple, and very straightforward. Either you seek uh, medical attention um, uh, under the direction from your physician, or you do it at home. But the consequence, the results, uh, and the influence in your daily life is totally different. So this video, the purpose of this video is just give you some example of how important it is to follow the, um, to have the directed care from your physician, um, from your primary care physician, and then if necessary, they will refer you to the uh, specialist. For example, there's some specialists for the pain, chronic pain. If you feel the pain, just uh, no specific uh, cause, just feel 
pain, uh, generalized painful. So then your physician will exclude any organic causes. Uh, no arthritis, no autoimmune disease, just uh, the, the aching. So either uh, probably depressed or just uh, no depression, just the pain. Your physicians refer you to the pain management. The specialist can uh, care, uh, care uh, this pain problem and improve your life and uh, in, uh, improve your life and the, the quality of your life. So this is a, uh, I'm not doing this for any uh, physician or any, uh, I'm not advocate for anybody, but just from my experience, uh, from uh, what I understand of dirty care, I just put it here, quote, probably the concept is much, much broader, much deeper, but I just use this simple, uh, straightforward example to address this uh, seek the medical attention properly and to uh, uh, guide under the physician to treat your problem. Uh, especially for those simple uh, small problem you tried at home couldn't get better then talk to your physician probably just under their guidance or just uh, simple easily to treat it and comply with them so you you feel better and your life quality of life will improve. So that is the video for today and uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.